Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Harry Potter Folklore. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about Ilvermorny's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So the school was founded in the 17th century, sometime after 1620, by Isolde Sayre and her nomad husband James, nomad being the equivalent term of Muggle in North America. It originally started as a home school in a cottage for their two adoptive children, Chadwick and Webster, before becoming a granite castle. The school is based entirely on Hogwarts as Isol grew up on hearing stories about the school when she lived back in Ireland. Instead of naming the houses after themselves, Isol, James, Chadwick and Webster each named a house after their favourite creature. So let's look at the four houses. First up is Horned Serpent. This was named by Isol after the Great Horned River Serpent that has a jewel set into its forehead. Horned Serpent House is sometimes considered to represent the mind of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Horned Serpent favours scholars. Pukwudgie was named by James Stewart after the fiercely independent magical creature, the Pukwudgie. Pukwudgie House is sometimes considered to represent the heart of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Pukwudgie favours healers. Next up we've got Thunderbird. So this was named by Chadwick Boot after his favourite magical beast, the Thunderbird. A beast that can create storms as it flies. Thunderbird House is sometimes considered to represent the soul of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Thunderbird favours adventurers. And finally we have Wampus. So this was named by Webster Boot after his favourite magical beast, the Wampus. A magical panther-like creature that was fast, strong and almost impossible to kill. Wampus House is sometimes considered to represent the body of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Wampus favours warriors. Ok so let's look at how the students are sorted. When a student starts their education at Ilvermorny, they step onto a Gordian knot on the floor in the centre of the entrance hall with large wooden statues of the mascots for the four houses facing them. The carved statues react if they want a student in their house. Now let's look at each statue's reaction. So should the horned serpent want a student, the crystal in the carving's forehead glows. If the wampus wants a student, the carving roars. If the thunderbird wants a student, the carving beats its wings. And if the Pukwudgie wants the student, the carving raises its arrow. And finally the school uniform. The robes of Ilvermorny are blue and cranberry. The colours honour Isolde and James. Blue because it was Isolde's favourite colour and because she had wished to be in Ravenclaw House as a child. And cranberry in honour of James's love of cranberry pie. All Ilvermorny students robes are fastened by a Gordian knot. In memory of the brooch Isolde found in the ruins of the original Ilvermorny cottage. That's it for today everyone and thank you very much for watching. My question for you is what is your Ilvermorny house? If you haven't already done the test, log on to Pottermore.com and take the test and make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you feel like supporting this channel on Patreon then you can click the link in the subscription and make sure you've subscribed to the channel.